All right. So. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. It's Badger. Well, we are back with more survival under fire. We have a series of mods that are on this, which are enhancing the survival aspect. We're coming under attack almost constantly by NPCs. Fortunately, I think most of our problems are behind us. Give you an idea of what we're accomplishing right now. We have a series of magazines, which I'm going to be taking these out. Because I have... Get my Twitch up here started. So I can see who's come on, who's checking the channel out, and who's going to be on tonight. So, I, ha I have added a few new mods to the system, which are, are going to be fun. And uh, we should be getting more crazy encounters, which would be nice. Let me see here. Ammo. Ah, here we go. We can swap out bullets now. We can have different types of ammunition. Nice. The five five six magazine. We're gonna assemble about nine of these magazines here, so that we can get ourselves some of these red tracers, because then I can see these guns shoot a lot better. And then if this works, I'm gonna see if I can't just pop one of these mags into one of the rifles we've already got. Um, from here, we got an MR-20 mag and an MR-50A magazine. I don't know if that's going to have any real effect. We may have to build those magazines for the other stuff. But, but, this is going to be a lot different. Sandstorm seems to have passed. Now I'm going to build up nine of these and see if these won't work in the turrets. I think they should work in the turrets. I don't know. I think they'll work in the gun too. In my rifle. We'll have to see. I would love to shove one of them into the rifle. So check it out. This here is just the, the light machine gun and stuff just isn't going It's not going to go through. So we should be able to build like our own um, like different kinds of ammunition. Well, and we're going to see if I won't take it. I won't take it. Oh. I was hoping it would. Okay, so it won't take the magazines, unfortunately. It was a good try. It was a good try. <laughs> it was a good try. I was going to put these tracers in there. But I know that this mod also adds tracers for the other turrets. So eventually we may be building better turrets at some point a little bit meaner with a more advanced refinery and other things. So this is something that we're going to have to mess with and work on while I'm at it. Knock a few of this stuff out of the way. I'd like these knocked out of the way too. Get rid of them. Inventory. What have I got here? I've got a lot of stone. Oh, that. I not put that in the base refinery. There go. That up. And eat this up as well. Um, hmm. <laughs> hmm. All right, now. Once that's done deconstructing, over to magazines. All right, that's all the standard stuff I can do. I get some cobalt, I can make a 12 gauge. 
Uh -huh, I also need some silver too. I think I've got silver somewhere though. Yeah, I could put red tracers in the pistol mags. I wonder if these wouldn't work for uh, regular mags. We're not going to find out like this. So, what we need to do now, considering I have full PDC coverage at the moment, I am going to fly over here to this unknown signal and get me whatever is in it. Now, there is a distinct possibility here while we play that the mobs could not attack because I did add on another, uh, add on a mod which should be enhancing the gameplay, should give us a whole lot of new stuff that we'll run into, probably. Maybe. I don't know if that's not gonna run afoul of the other mods, so today's a little bit of an experiment. There are a few mods that I've got on here that I already know will work wonderfully. One of them is the 3mm uh, cannon turret. Oh crap, seriously? <sighs> and if I leave this here, it's going to despawn. See, this is why I need a truck. We're going to have to build a truck at some point in time, but we need uh, materials. Build that truck and, and get the stuff that we want over here. I want to build a healer. Would be nice. Dubbed all that in here. One minute. Where's those mags? Might as well show these other nine mags in here. There. Birds are at least armed. Let's see if that... Uh, let's see if that little drop... Still here. Like it despawned. Ripes. Probably had some good stuff in there. Probably had some money. We're not going to get it now because <laughs> we make a few adjustments. Let's see what we got out here. This looks like a nice rock. Let's see what we got now. Ooh, cobalt. That's a nice amount of cobalt. We could use this. Let's just chew into this rock here. There's like meteorites and stuff, I think. But we're going to chew into it here and see if we can't get something nice. Hopefully we will get some excitement on here because I know that's what everybody likes to see. They like to see me fight the baddies. All right. That's that's a lot of stuff here. All right. We're going to... I fly away, this could be spawn. I don't want to lose any of this, so we're going to take the stone we got. We're going to chuck out this giant boulder here. All right, time to crap out this next giant boulder. Boom, that's done. I want the cobalt ore, folks. That's it. That's all I want is cobalt. Is there any cobalt left? No? Okay, that's all I need. I'm gonna run back to the survival pod. We know there's cobalt out here. There's probably other things that are out here, too. I need to go find all these rocks. They're near the base. I really hope we get attacked by something. Kind of interesting over there. Look like ah, it's a tree. I, I'm hoping the mods don't clash. If that if that happens, we may have to uh, resort to some different mods. <laughs> uh, we may have to make a decision. I may put that up to a vote if we end up in that position because there is a slight possibility that will happen. 
but while we're out here, I can mine these rocks up above the ground. That's one of the things about Earth, and one of the reasons why Earth is so easy to work on. Um, on Earth, you can literally find minerals just sitting on top of the ground. Unlike on the moon, any anything you find on the moon, uh, you're going to have to dig down deep to get it. It won't be at the surface. You'll have to dig down. Earth, you'll have large rock deposits just sitting up above the ground uh, in places. And it'll be everything except uranium. That's the one thing we're going to need a lot of. And right now we're coming back with a crap ton of cobalt. So cobalt, what that's going to do, it's going to enable me to build um, a storage container, basically, which is something we need. That's it, baby. Build me that cobalt. Nice. <laughs> All right. Nice. Okay, so we got 40% of this. We are eventually going to have to build some sort of spacecraft. I am pretty sure we're going to find out if we're going to come under attack here pretty quick because there's going to be another drop if if we're being attacked wonderful i don't have to modify this at all if we don't get attacked oh we're in trouble <laughs> so we're in trouble because then i gotta figure out some other stuff so another thing i was i was considering here all right we're gonna have to fly up here go to the top of this container and I am going to have to try and add some type of piston system and a, a uh, uh, what is word, center pivot, center pivot, so that we can start building upward or, or we can start increasing our production capability. Set that there out here for a second there is one small problem with this that is i am gonna be killing my ability to see anything okay so there is the point the center pivot it'll be a big hole it'll make a nice big hole so now what i need to do is i need to Go up. We're gonna we're not gonna take this thing really deep. First, we're just gonna go up probably to here. Hope. Big hope. And we have enough. Okay, we got all that. That's gonna be the makings of our soon to be effective center pivot. I may. just for the necessity of it. We'll put a conveyor sorter there so then I can put a... Where the heck is that over there? Huh, that's weird. Um, or four. Oh, it's another uh, deposit. What we got here? What we got here? Oh, what do we got here? Oh, that's nickel. <laughs> I have plenty of nickel. I don't need no more nickel. That's for sure. So we're not going to worry about that right now. Fly back over here. Now, yeah, I'm, I'm flying around pretty good, but I'm eventually going to need to find some ice. Which is where uh, this center pivot is going to come into play very quickly. Now, what I probably need to do is I probably need to set reset these guns on either side here. So they can provide static cover fire on all ends. I don't have to worry about too much other stuff. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Have support systems dying. Get back to the respawn pod and get a recharge. Fortunately, <clears throat> the respawn pod is filling up. And with the cobalt that I got... I can up and make more 
jet engines. So jet engines, good. Oh, okay, okay. Well, the defense system is still working, for sure. Let's go see what we got here. Oh, he dropped, he drops all their raiders. Please tell me, yes. Everything I need. Everything that's needed. Where's the next guy at? There were two of them. Ah, here he is. So, so far, we have not lost a darned thing. Oh, there's another one down. Another grinder here. Sounds like it shot another one here somewhere. Uh, wherever he is, he's probably pretty dead. I'm certain this mod sends like four guys at me at a time. There's a dead one here somewhere. Is that it? Oh, that's a bush. Okay, well, I guess that's all of them. Don't worry about anything else. <laughs> F it. <laughs> They're all dead. We can take that and turn it into more ammunition for the turrets. Because we did. We got a lot of stuff out of that. All right. Um, I'm going to have to start welding up stuff pretty quick. Let's go ahead and activate our welder here. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Still have... Okay, yeah. My uh, hydrogen bottle is, is dropping. Which it should have been filled up. Actually, I, I don't think it was filled up. Okay, yeah, like I said, we're going to need to go out and find take this little ship and go find some ice eventually because this is going to get redundant real fast. Um... Okay, so here's what we're going to do next. We're going to run over here. Uh, tell the system to use about a hundred of these. Oh, hey, we have a viewer. Awesome. You're just in time. We're only 18 minutes into the stream. So whoever is here, thank you for joining. Uh, we'll be doing this uh, for about another hour. Already been attacked. We added a few new mods. We're going to have um, a bunch of stuff has now been added. I don't know what all has been added. I know that we're still getting attacked by raiders and the defensive systems are still operational like they're supposed to be. Uh, okay. That's not working right now. What am I missing here? Let's take this. Because we don't need these pistols. I don't need... Oh. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. All right. Um, let's fly up here. We're going to try and... I think I need to... check my build planner here. I need to probably redo this. I, th I think I might have clicked one times. Yeah, so what I'm doing here is I'm using the build planner system Oh, we're at capacity now. Okay, that's good. That's cool. All right, cool, cool. Let's do this. There we go. 
This is the cool part about the build planner. I love it. Oh. Ah, the system's screwing us now. Okay, what do we need next? We need... Oh, tell me I... Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Oh, wait. Uh, building. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we're going to get the rest of these done. Have all this. Let's, uh... We have disassembling. All right, we'll disassemble all this. Because we need the magnesium to make more magazines. And I can't put the tracers in. I got tracer rounds, but I don't think I can... I think I can use them in regular guns. So what I might do is I may make the uh, assault rifle run green for a little bit. Because we're conscious about the environment right now. Yes. Boom, about 100 of those. Can't get that built up. Now... What else? I need to get rid of some of this stuff. I've got to get rid of... I don't have a whole lot of room. That's the problem. I could add a cargo container. A small one that would give me enough room to you know, build some stuff up and make some stuff work. Ah, fun times. Fun times. Also need a battery at some point. Around here, I didn't see a drop or nothing, so we don't have any drops hitting us. Go. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to need more. Not withdraw 18 construction components. Let's see what all we can get done here, though. The more of these I complete, the better off we're going to be. Okay, so I've already pulled a bunch of stuff out of here. Let's, uh, oh wait, let me come back here. Don't want to waste anything. Don't want to waste nothing. Uh, all right. Let's... Throw this in here. Throw that in there. That. All of that. Throw those in there as well. I don't need those. Um, let's see. Action. Disassemble. All right. We'll disassemble all that. Real quick. Radio components. We'll, we'll disassemble those too, so we got some extra. Yeah, that way we'll have some extra uh, uh, steel plates and everything. We get that done. Because it, well, with the extra steel plates coming in, we're going to be able to build some more nifty things. And at some point in time, I got I to gotta build up. So we, we probably need to move this turret up top a little more so it's got more coverage. And we have an unknown signal. I'm a little leery about it, but we've got this handy dandy little tool. <laughs> oh, if, if you're wondering what this is, this is an M60 mod I have added to the game. I've got a light machine gun, and it turns out I did not build this. This is like an in-game weapon. But what happened was one of the raiders showed up, and apparently the mods I have added, the modded weapons, they can pull out and use. And so this idiot came out here with this thing. Fortunately, the turrets took care of it, and I'm just like, well, that that's that's nice. <laughs> Thank you for doing that, Mr. Turret. I'm going to fly out here real quick. Get this unknown signal on the hope to God we don't get attacked by anything crazy.
great thing about the unknown signals is they kind of force us to explore a little bit. Pretty nifty stuff. Okay, eh, I kind of hurt my health here. Look, another one of these little guys. The last one I didn't have enough room for, fortunately. Do I can get something new? Nope, nothing new. Break out the old grinder. Grind this thing down to nothing. All right, you, whatever you got in here. I now. I'll come now. You're not going to do this to me now. Are we are we doing this? I got ways around it. Let me tell you. Back to the respawn pod. I'm not going to be able to do this much longer because once the jetpack runs low, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to screwed. I guess I better just save the jetpack for a while because I'm going to need that ice here before long. I might as well just hang on to it. Should be coming under attack soon. It's gonna suck. Let's uh, take some of the materials we just got. See if we can't fix a little bit more. All right, energy's getting low. Let's drop over here and get some more energy. Like I said, it's been fun. It's fun right now. Hammering away, taking care of problems, trying to build this center pivot. Once this center pivot is done, I will be able to get the materials that I desperately need to build a couple of unique uh, items. I should be able to build a truck pretty easily. And I should be able to add some stuff to that truck that'll give me whatever I want. But this center pivot is necessary right now. And why have we stopped? Basic refinery is not operating. It's not running at the moment. Oh, wind has fallen down. That's not good. Um, hmm. Huh. Well, I ain't good. All right, let's look through here. Build a battery. Because that's probably what we're going to need right now is at least a battery. Okay, build a battery. Get the nice warfare battery. All right, we need some construction components, a bunch of other goodies. Uh, control panel right now. Wind turbine. Maximum output is a certain amount. Conveyor sorter. Why do I have a conveyor sorter up there? Basic refinery. Yeah, we're, we're really just pulling it, and the wind turbine is just not able to really put out a whole lot of power. Kind of odd. It's trying. Um, hmm.
pulled something out. Not much. Okay. Oh crap, that's bad because it, why okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we need to um, Okay, I'll basic refinery. We're gonna turn you off. Okay, I'm gonna turn you off. I have power. This is bad. Because uh, if those turrets are not running, we're pretty screwed right now. Basic assembler. That's pulling about 280. We'll get that turned off. All right, warfare battery. I'm. I'll complete that over here at the. Uh, this thing. Hopefully, I've got enough of the materials to make it with. I have a few of these. That's in the control seats. We'll grab that real quick. Hope those turrets are still running. Power was something I was just not even considering at this moment. Okay, uh, all right. And a few more things up. Center pivot's going to take a whole lot of power and a whole lot of battery. Um, what I will do is I'll get up here and I'll take this off. Apparently that's a sorter. Yeah, that's what that was. We need a, a conveyor conveyor. All right, we need... Oh, crap. We need steel tubes and everything to get this up and running. But first, we need this stupid battery running right now. What do I need? I'm going to need 80 power cells. That's going to be fun. Fortunately, I can take some of the materials that's already in here. I can use that. Come over to the survival pod. We can use that to build up. All right. Uh, juke. You can juke. What are we producing? Stop that now. All right. I need... Uh, those hopefully that's enough oh i can't build the uh i'm hoping that's what the problem is that uh the wind turbine is just not working at the moment i don't know why it's not working it's not spinning as fast for some reason bad Ah, oh, thank God. Turrets are working. Thank God the turrets are working. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Turrets decided to light something up. I don't know what they lit up, but uh, thank God they did. Go see what these guys have. We've got one, two dead guys out here. They're eating through some ammo, though. I don't like that. Joker's got on you. Huh. Interesting. Oh, they got batteries on them. Oh, they have batteries on them. It's awesome. Use this. I'm lucky right now, so. All right, I'm lucky these guys came along and tried to attack. What is this? Sir, I don't know who you are. The turrets are not engaging you. And if that is a grinder you've got... Yeah, that's what I thought. He was a bad guy. He died. Well, that's one problem I don't have to worry about. Alright, that one's down. Only three of you guys? Really? 
Maybe more. If not. I need like another two or three power cells, possibly. Okay. Now, eventually, we're going to have to get done with this stuff. So, here, that, and shove it right there. So, take this, get there, and that, this here now. Full panel, basic assembler. Turn that on. All right. First off, when you do some assembling, I need. How many more do you need? 40. Ah, all my nickels over there. That's right. Ah, let me go get it. Let me go get it. Because once we get the battery going, we'll be able to store some power. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. A lot of little hiccup we had just a minute ago where we didn't have any power. I don't know if we didn't have power or if it just said no at that moment. But we do need to uh, build that up and maybe add a couple of blocks to the top of this thing. Like I said, eventually I'm going to run out of the ability to fly here in a minute. So, yeah, that's that's going to be a fun little job to work when I don't have the ability to get up off the ground. So that means uh, we're going to have to leave this base at some point. Go out and start putting ice into this survival pod, which if I can build the survival pod up, that won't be a problem. Because it can just, it can do its thing and do it quite well. And then I can store everything in the seat. And once we get the center pivot started, that, is that a hole? Oh, I got blasted. Here I am sitting here griping about using too much of my ice and hydrogen. Should be using that only for what I need. I have three more. Anyway. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's go here. Yep. Oh, God. If you're wondering what I'm doing right now, not that. <laughs> I'm going to install. Some thrusters on either side. So that. Um, no, I don't want that either. All right, I can. A couple steel plates in that. Steel plates in that. Now, the rest of it's going to be construction components, motors, large steel tubes, all that good stuff. Well, let me head over here. The rest of this out. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, come now.
Why can't I come out? There is the... Are we not building it? There they are. Are we out? That should have been it. Tell me I'm only like 78 in here. Wonderful. We have a battery now. Just weld this sucker up so it takes a while to kill it. All right. Battery's up and running. That's going to provide all the power we need. Go ahead and tell this system to... Disassemble all of this so we can get the material we need. Yeah, that back over here. I'm going to tell it to disassemble that as well. All right, we'll disassemble that. So then I can get all the materials I need. I've got three metal grates, and I'm going to need that for the metal grates <laughs> to go over and uh, to get ice with more than I'm going to need anything else. So anything I want to produce right now, I can produce it. That's not a problem. All right. Uh, assembling. We're going to assemble another hundred of these. One, two, three of those, if I can. I got cobalt. I can I can build the things out of cobalt now. So that's good. Let's see. We've got detector components, which are going to require nickel. Nickel is going to become a problem. Now, at some point, I got to turn the cobalt back on because we need it. Or, or turn the uh, refinery back on. What I might do is I may... Well, let's do that. Let's go over here. Go to wind turbine. I'm going to add that to the build planner as well. So I can just... Okay, I got all that. Grab about... We're going to build this up. No. Nine, you fool. Oh, that is... That is actually pretty close. I could, I could just walk over and grab that if I wanted. Fifty of these. Let's fly up here and finish up this top part. Okay, now from there. Press seven. I need interior plates for this. Then I could set another uh wind turbine right there. Build a power. What else can I do? All right, we got this interior plate. Let's use it to slap a wind turbine here. Now, that one I'm going to do that's like 900 meters out. We're going to run to that. With the M60 light machine gun. <laughs> All ready to go. Okay. We can run from the survival pod. We got a battery hooked up over there. It's just awesome. <sighs> All right. So the big problem is going to be random encounters when we're away from base, which is going to require a 
a vehicle with some type of weapon attached to it. I have a concept, um, which is to bring the healer out and add some type of, I don't know, some kind of quote unquote automated gun to it. I don't want to put an auto cannon on there. But in order to build the healer, we're going to have to get a little bit more up there. And then I would have to buy uranium to run the vehicle with. All right, we're running up to this. There's a good possibility I'm going to get attacked while I'm out here. So <laughs> just letting everybody know. Oh, no, 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 no. Tell me that's not one of those runner pods. Okay, it's not. Thank the Lord. Not one of these runners. Those pods are a pain in the butt to chase down. Little badger suit. Ooh, I power that up at some point in time and look at it. Give me all your equipments, all your parts. We're officially scrap metal. What we got here? Power coals? Alright, I can use that. Good, 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 good. We got all that tore up and we didn't even have to pull anything else out. Now, I'm running back. I'm probably going to get attacked by something. I guarantee it. I'm going to start getting attacked and I'm going to have to use the... Um, You have to use the M60E to fend off everything that's attacking. I don't know how these uh, guys are going to operate because they could end up. It, this this random incursion does get worse. I know that. Uh, I played on the moon when I tested out the mod, and almost instantaneously, almost instantaneously. I was being attacked by decent groups of guys. It started out with like three, but then the game figured out I had a lot more stuff or a pretty decent sized base build. And I said, F it. We're going to send everything at you. <laughs> I started sending all kinds of stuff. That was fun. Sometimes I get um, attacked and mobbed by like eight or nine guys at a time. Which it only starts to recognize. Uh, it only starts sending like really, really large groups of guys at you or enemies at you when it realizes, hey, guess what? Have uh, you've gotten better game? So we're gonna send you some more guys your direction. Fortunately, this M60 has made a big difference. Last well, big fight. If I do run into something out in the wild, I should be able to handle it pretty effectively. Now then, let's use our newfound parts. Okay. Um, hmm. All right, that is just lugging in power. Let's go ahead and look at this. What we got going on here? Uh, we have a fully stored amount. Our current output is 21 kilowatts. We have a stored power of 940 kilowatts. Which is not bad. Not bad at all. Now the plan here is to build down and just build a line of drills right here. Turn them on and just let them eke out around here and start tearing stuff up. And eventually move those turrets over to here. So right now, right now I got to hope to God. I got a bunch of scrap metal here. Now we're going to fly up here for a second. Upgrade this a bit more. Just a few.
few more pieces. That's what we got to do. All right, all that's done. All right, what, what else do I need to do? Grab these. Take them over to the survival pod. Because I am going to have to add these in. Eventually there will need to be some construction components, some motors, and all that good stuff. But as of right now, those um uh, those things, man, they're they're gonna be able to help out real good. <sighs> Alright. Um oh, oh, fell in the hole. Oh, oh. Already under attack again. Really? What we kill? All of them lit up. What did we hit? Oh, there's something. Here. Dead guy here. Let's see what he dropped. Is that magnesium off them bullets, man? That is that is a necessary... And that's a good thing, because they will at least drop that. We're getting a lot of these dudes with just the pistols. But I am getting a other thing. Okay, where's the other guy that y'all shot? Two of them. Why right there? Both gun turrets lit up something. Is that it? No. The only problem I have with the turrets. When they light something up, it's at like really good distance. Need to reset those things so they don't fire right off the bat. Got all that done. Okay. Um Let's Okay. We're going to try and disassemble some of this extra stuff we got. All right, we got about a thousand of that, or about a thousand credits. I could load myself up, go over there, and start depositing things. I wish I knew where that other dude was. Or if that was just one guy that attacked us. Wait, is that something? Oh, I saw a body here. Or a backpack, maybe. No, don't see it. Don't see it. Don't see it at all. Hmm. Both turrets must have just lit that one uh, guy up. That's all I can figure. All right, it's going to eat through this. We're going to get us a lot more. Nine. Okay. So we're going to eat up all these plates here for the moment. We're going to get some steel back. And that's... We're going to use that to build up more uh, stuff to get this center pit of pivot finished. Once it is done... I will be able to, I want to say I'll be able to fairly easily get all the, uh, get like nickel, silicone, and iron pretty easily. We'll be eating it out of rocks, so that'll be helpful. A 
Fuck you. Is there anything else? Totally like a shot, guys. Not gonna lie. All we gotta do is get through this stuff. This will be gone. Ammo will be gone. We'll eat this stuff up and then we'll turn around and assemble some other things. I know I'm gonna have to put some ammunition out. Funny thing is we haven't been hit by the robot raiders very much. I've noticed that at least. I haven't been showing back up looking for stewing for a fight. Let's pull those out. Well that. We'll get all that built and finished. And then we'll go add it to the one deal. Hopefully we can get most of the center pivot done. Hi. Kingra Box. Hi. How are you doing today? How many mods do you use? God, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> um, we are using weapon mods. I am using... Um, let's see. What do we got going on here? We do have this beam weapon system going on. I've also got some uh, Northwind weapon mods because those are just crazy. And as far as weapons, almost each, like all these Chris Victors, they're one mod. Berettas are one mod. The two types of shotguns for a mod, this M60, which I currently have, a whole bunch of Kalashnikovs, Tavors, 1911s, Barretts. Uh, and this P90 here, <laughs> which is fun. I haven't gotten to play with that yet. Yeah, a lot of weapons. Yeah. Um, kind of messing around with that. I do have a skybox going on, and I've also got a couple of mods which are improving the attacking. Now we've got, uh, and what I mean by attacking is I am getting attacked by... I've got one mod which just randomly throws NPCs at me. So far, it's throwing the same NPC at me. And then I think in episode two, I think it was, we ended up getting attacked by a robot raider pod, which is a mod that drops a, a literally drops a pod down. Four robots hop out and they're armed with light machine. They're armed with like the uh, MS-50 light machine gun. So they've got a lot of ammunition and they just start trying to beat the crap out of you with that. So I produce it, it. It it gets hairy very quickly. Very, very quickly will it get hairy. Oh, that's what I'm going to need. Okay, take a new sub. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I can always use new subs. I got, I got more people that are watching the channel. It's, it is fun. <laughs> Now, if I can just... Okay, I'm going to do some of this power kit here. Put the steel tube on here. Yeah, that's that's been the thing right now, is working on subscribers and doing this. I've also got a YouTube channel, if you want to check that out. And a Discord that I'm working with a friend of mine, Ayo Chris. And we're doing a Discord called Late Nighters. And pretty much the Late Nighters is me, him, and I guess any other YouTuber that works with us. It's just kind of a hub where different guys, different YouTubers, you know, like put up their stuff. It's just us right now. So <laughs> don't, don't, don't get on there and be like, oh, hey, look, they got some really cool crap. And I was like, no, nah, it's, it's, it's just me and Chris right now. Let's say it's a fairly new endeavor. All right. I'm going for that unknown signal here in a minute. And I haven't been attacked in a while. I'm pretty sure this is going to get hairier real fast. Maybe one of those moments I'm going to head over there. Don't speak English very well. Um, what? 
Okay. Don't speak English very well. What country are you from? Because that's interesting. I, I like I like knowing when I get people from different countries. Okay, well, well, I don't have anything else. I guess we're going for that. 12% on the hydrogen pack. We're just going to run this. And we got an M60 here. Colombia. Oh, that's Central America. That's nice. Weather's probably great down there. Right now, it's freezing where I'm at. Live in Missouri in the center of the United States. That tiny, you look at the state of Missouri and you look at this, you look at, you see this tiny little spick of land that just decided to just push itself out and hang down. And that's called the Boot Hill. And it is freezing right now where I'm at. Fight. Oh, but yeah, I'm going to get into one though. Let's hit the uh, thruster real quick. If I can't just fly here a little faster. That thing's like two. Thousand meters down, I'm down 12%. Oh, this may not be a good idea. May not have been. See where we're going. See where we're at. Okay, okay, okay. I see where we are. All right, Dad Gummit, if you start running, I'll light you up with this LMG. Okay, nothing there. Pull out the really good grinder I have here. God, I hope I don't get attacked right now. Was that the base? The early earlier parts of this, man, when I was playing. The earlier part of this was just insane. Because I took off to get one of these first, first drop of the game. And what happens? Frickin' uh, game says, this is the time you're going to get smacked by the uh, NPCs in the game. And I immediately came under fire. And I was like, oh boy, this is going to be a fun time. <laughs> Let's run back, equip the M60 here. The M60 here is actually a late, late game weapon. I was telling the first year about this uh, earlier in the stream. This is a late game weapon when you're playing. You're not supposed to have it just yet. But apparently the NPCs just took it upon themselves to grab, uh, to come at me with some weapons. And one of them walked up with an LMG and I was like, oh. Heck yeah, I will take that M60. Thank you. <laughs> Had that in about nine bags or nine boxes of ammunition, which is great. Uh, yeah. But our problem right now in this area of the country where I'm at is it is raining constantly. And it is the wet season. And uh, I live in an area where we have to have a lot of drainage pre-dug in order to keep all the water from flooding up. I've actually had my house flooded once already uh, in my lifetime. That was about eight, yeah, about eight years ago. Because I had a two-week-old kid when that happened. My wife was not happy. <laughs> Let me tell you, that, that was not a good day at Badger's house. If she woke up in the middle of the night and she puts her she throws her feet over the bed for some reason just wanting to run out there and go to and go I guess she decided to get up she said it wasn't for the bathroom she was like I got up for some reason she said I knew something was wrong and she gets up and the only thing I hear is honey something's wrong the floor is wet and I'm like what and she goes I think I'm bleeding and she thought she thought she had injured herself or something in the middle of the night and was bleeding out and I clicked on the light and looked, and there was water seeping in from underneath the walls. And it was like, there's nothing you could do. I loaded up all the games. I loaded up all the guns. We grabbed everything we could get. We grabbed the PlayStation, and we lifted and picked up every single piece of furniture that night as the water was coming in. Worst part was I spent $100 on flooring, laminate engineered hardwood flooring for the house that the guy that had it before uh, it wouldn't work in his house because the, the floor bowed too much so it just popped it loose the whole time and uh, at that point I watched that stuff just buckle come up and just float off out into the out the doorway 
and that was sickening. And I refused to let my wife go to the house for six months as I went in there and worked on it with some friends and family and got everything somewhat back to what it needed to be. And then my wife moved in before the living room was complete. And I still had to, I, after that, we fortunately insurance paid for everything. That was the one good thing. I mean, nothing is better than the guy that the insurance adjuster, because they, they didn't hire one of their guys to come out. They sent some dude who was a freelancer insurance adjuster, and he walked in and he goes, yeah, he said, uh, this is bad. I'm not going to lie. He said, you're flooded. He said, there's no way around it. He said, but I'm going to say four little words. Or what is it like four or three little words? I think it was. No, it's three. And he said, I got three little words for you. He said, that'll make you happy. I said, what's that? He said, I work commission. And so the more money I get you for this, the more money I make. So I was like, thank God. <laughs> I ended up the next time around. My wife was like, yes, I still want something that looks like it's got hardwood inside of the inside the living room. And I said, how about tile? We can do hardwood looking tile. And if it floods again, all I got to do is come in here with a buffer and buff it out. <laughs> just buff the, just come in here with a mop and mop the dirt up from the flooding. But since that happened, I went and talked to the, uh, to the township that we live in. And they were like, oh, dang, we did not know you were having flooding problems. Thank you for telling us. And then they brought a backhoe out here. And uh, originally we had a ditch, but then they increased the size of the ditch. And I was, I was very glad for that. <laughs> I was glad that they did that. Made everyone's life so much easier. Okay, we're going to try and fly up here and get more of this on. Okay, we need more interior plate. It's going to have to happen. Here. Don't know what I came here for. I got to hit this. Recharge everything up. Oh, we're under attack. He's dead. Dude, that's a lot of guys. One, two. Where'd the first one go down at? I see two. That thing, the guns just lit several people up. Let's run over here and get this guy first. He'll have parts, he'll have equipment we can take off of him. What have we here? Ooh! Ooh! Ooh, an elite grinder! Oh, yes! I need one of these! <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. I don't know who the heck you are, but... Made my life a lot easier. If we can find the other dude that died. <laughs> That's awesome. I got an elite grinder. Yay. <laughs> we have an elite grinder. That's awesome. That is awesome. All right. We got the elite grinder. I'm going to have to do something about the gun turrets because we are, we are running out of ammunition. I've got to make a run. See if I can find some ammo or something. These guys just came at us. Oh, there's zombies. We got zombies, folks. We got zombies coming. All right, so the mod is working great. Dude, it's sending elite tools to me. Oh, I can actually take this thing apart, and I bet it's got some silver in it. Ooh, I bet I get a shot. That would be fun. I've not used the shotgun in combat. But that would be interesting. Both gauge actually pretty lethal at range. Oh wait! Oh 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 oh! Yes 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 yes! We got another guy. We got another one. Got another zombie. Oh, he's got a, he's got an MR30. He's got ammunition. Crap! I can't carry any more. Awesome stuff. I'm gonna have to come back to him. Stay right there, dude. Don't leave. I'll be right back after I drop some of this stuff off. Disappear on me. All right. Uh, uh,
Oh, I can't disassemble that. That sucks. Okay, we, we put all that in there. Let's put that in there. Well, okay, I can't, can't do anything with that. Back over to him, get the rest of the equipment that's on him. Right now, these guys have pretty much become a resource for me. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Bro, level through grinding from zombie. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I, I was thrilled when I saw that. I was like, oh, yes, yes. This makes grinding so much faster. So the mod, this mod's working. I don't know if the, the uh, robot raider mod is working, but if they show up, they will be in. They'll be in for some fun. Let's take a look here. Still got six and five magazines. These turrets do not eat through a lot. Kind of want to lower the settings on it. I don't even have the uh, lights on. Anyway. Yes, yes, that's awesome having that level three grinder. I've got like two or three of them. I just don't have the facilities to break down the ones that I currently got. That's the only problem I have right now with this. So let's take all this back. Let's have it in there. We've also got this MR30E, which would be nice. So let's go here and swap this out for a moment. Character tools. Elite grinder, that is the, the absolute best grinder in the game we cannot get a better grinder so that is actually it's not level three this is actually the elite grinder we've got proficient grinder we've had enhanced grinders and then you got your regular grinder this is the elite grinder this is the best one you can get it doesn't get any better than this so i've got that going for me right now there is a drop <laughs> right on time okay i need to this going oh that thing is spinning like nobody's business we've got eh, we've got about a megawatt 1.5 megawatts not bad it's not bad at all um let me no not that let me go in here and look what all do i need okay i think i need girders Uh, okay. No, I need... Let's do 20 of each. And then I need to... Okay, I can't put the proficient welder or grinder in there. We can't get rid of that. That's not, that's not going to help us. All right, let me store some stuff over here. Uh, one in there. That guy, that guy, store this guy, that in there. Um, we've got all these extra weapons. I mean, oh, I need these grinders out of here. And I can't disassemble any of this uh, weaponry because it is too high a level for my deal. And we are running low on ice. So I am going to have to... Going to have to turn this thing on at some point. And... It'll fly. I mean, it'll fly wherever I need it to go. Let's see how much power we have. We've got two things of power on here. Where is that light coming from? Where is that light coming from? We should not have any light. Where's that light? Let's kill that light. Okay, corner light off. Corner light off. That saves some energy. Where's my battery at? There's the battery. How much do we have here? We got 709 kilowatts right now. And no current input. So once 
once the sun comes up, we're going to be we're going to be motoring real quick yeah. here. If I can, I'm going to increase the power here real quick. Oh, wonderful. I just need four more girders and a couple more interior plates. Okay. Production here. Let's go. One, two, three, four. All right. Done. That is done. And now... Second turbine. Let's see how this one battery is working at the moment. My my guess is it's going to be working great. Okay. Current input is 859 kilowatts. Current output is 21. We're going to be fully recharged in three hours. So that's awesome. Uh, along with maybe a solar, couple solar panels maybe. I could easily run this going on. Let's run out here and grab this unknown signal, and then I'm going to have to work on a piston and a rotor system, as well as the ability to put down a couple of large. I think what I'm going to do first is I'm going to run small. Uh, yeah, we're going to run small drills first. So when I push down on the ground, it'll make a quick turn and then come back up. And then after that, <clears throat> I don't want to build a massive center pivot because a absolute beast of a center pivot just starts really just getting in the way after a while. We're going to be making a nice, perfect little circle. Perfect little circle all around. I'm going to break out the M60 because I'm going to need it. <laughs> <clears throat> hopefully while I'm out here, the robots don't attack. If that happens, we're just going to run right up to this thing, grab the stuff, run around and lure them back to the base while we're providing cover fire. Another thing I need to do is when I get the, uh, the stuff built, I do that with, I could arm the pod that we currently got right now. I could arm it with a chin mounted turret. But we're going to run this because I don't have a lot of hydrogen left. I got like 5.9 hydrogen left. No, excuse me. Pardon me. Never mind. F forget what I just said. I got nine. I got five, six point something ice left. I need more hydrogen if I'm going to keep running around operating, which is going to require me to find some ice, mine it put it into the pod and bring it back. That's one of the advantages of the pod is if you know what you're doing and you work with it, you can get stuff. Now, some stuff, I think right now, if I were to die and lose the pod, am I being chased? Well, I hope not. And, and um, the thing about the pod is you can actually take the pod and modify it to an extent and apply up with it. And currently with this uh, current setup that I, I've got with these mods, I think one of them will actually give you a really good. Um, let me think here. I think one of them will actually give you an awesome uh, survival pod, which is on like six wheels. So. Sidestep that real quick. Hopefully when I get up here, Getting attacked is not a problem. Getting shot at will be a problem. Uh, hopefully I won't get attacked when I get up here. But this grinder will make things a lot easier. Oh no. I've got a crab ton of stuff on me. I did not know that. Well, we may just take only what we need. I don't, I have a, I have a decent amount of iron right now. All I would have to do is just dig down a little bit and let that thing rotate a little bit and get everything that I need. Oh, boy. 
Yeah, doing things by uh, foot. Not as much fun as doing it by jetpack. <laughs> what I do need to do is I do need to build some kind of small battery powered vehicle. Maybe nuclear powered would be awesome. Because then I could... Excuse me. At that point, I could just hop into the uh, rover, drive right over here, just be done with it. I did build a vehicle called a healer at one point, which is amazing. It's on the workshop, actually. If you play, uh, if you go to the Steam workshop, uh, there is one called the M3 healer. Six, M3 6x6 six healer. Please tell me you are not going to go running off. This one? No, it's not. Okay. Weird survival pod here. Okay. I can't get to your button. Hit you again. Roll over. Not that much. Stop right there. Stop right there. Okay, good. All right. Let's see if we get something else here. No, we're not getting anything else. All right, number two then. Ah, oh, so much faster. Let's go ahead and get whatever is in this. Uh... Well, we got nine motors and some other goodies. All right, good, 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 good. All right, the rest of this is just going to be... Am I really going to get all of it? Oh, well, you know, we got it all. All right, grab back the uh, good old LMG and let's head on back to the respawn pod. This takes a little bit of time. It takes a little bit of time doing things on foot. What we should be doing all right. Now, I don't believe the, ro the, um, the robots... I, I will be attacked by robots at some point, but I don't believe the NPCs that are attacking us right now will attack the base while we're gone. I think what uh, I think the robot raiders will do that. They'll come down out of the sky and they'll attack. Um, the other NPCs, I think they attack me as I'm moving, which is why I have both of these on. Because one, this means I have to build a pretty good base in order to withstand the robot raiders when they come down out of the sky. The other thing is I also have to be completely on alert because NPCs can just attack me at any point in time. And, and I know this because the first time I encountered the MP, the random NPC mod... Oh, it's raining. Thank God. Whew, I saw stuff flying across the screen. I was like, well, tracer rounds, we're in a fight. <laughs> Got to look at... Nah, it's just rain. I think guys just rain. Let's look behind us, make sure no one's following. That'd be hilarious. I get back to base and all of a sudden machine gun fire lights up. I see tracers flying past my head because my auto turrets are are uh, targeting something behind me. So we're at this desert point, I think probably close to the equator. We're going to use the respawn pod when I get the chance to fly into a more of an Arctic region, region maybe. Then I may eventually build some kind of solar panel system, which will help us greatly. Uh, some people have asked me the question, do you use solar panel scripts? And uh, I've used them once, but the problem with solar panel scripts is they just don't. I mean, some games you just can't use them on, and I like something more consistent. Which is why I love the turret control block, because you can use that on any server. It doesn't matter if someone says, hey, you know, we're going to bar people from using this on a server. Uh, you can say, never mind, I can still build my own custom turrets because it doesn't require scripting. Uh, so eventually I got to looking around online. I found this one dude who did a really good idea, built upon that idea. And I've got a video on YouTube showing how to build a scriptless solar tracking system. It takes just a little bit of setup. But once you get it set up, it sits there and just rotates and provides Infinite power. It, it literally does track the sun. So you don't have to worry about it, you know, stopping or starting or anything like that. It just goes, just turns with it as it goes. And you can trick the game 
uh, into having a sensor for it. It just takes a little bit of work. All. Oh. Hopefully I can get this built up and maybe I can build some kind of... Um, well, I'd love to build on here. <laughs> is there is a turret on here that I haven't been able to make work. Well, I can't use that on a base. It only works for a ship. That's the one thing about the Northwind weapons mod. It only works for ships. So I had to build some kind of uh, flat gun for ships. Eventually a 20 millimeter auto cannon quad barrel. And I also have a tutorial on how to build those things on YouTube. If you want to check that out. Uh, that's probably one of my, well, maybe like my second most watched video. That was within just a few days. And also I've got the, uh, oh shit. Now I'm under fire. All right. Who's, who's opening up? What's shooting at me? The bullets coming from. I don't know what the heck that is, but you're coming into. Oh, well, they're shooting at me. All right, but I can't see them. Run to the foxhole here real quick. Run back to base. Back to base. I don't see him. They give up? Surely not. No, no. Well, they haven't given up, all right. Oh, they are really out there. Uh, let's break out the drill real quick. Up, oh, hit one of them. Oh, boys, get a little closer. Here we go. That one. Problem is, man, they like to move on you. And I'm not invincible. Oh, why can't I hit him? Sight the muzzle flashes, boys. Sight the muzzle flashes. Oh, if I just had a Barrett right now, that'd be awesome. Not hitting them. Come on, boys, come get some. Why? Yeah, I'm crouching. I hit him. Not moving. You don't want to move? Okay. All right, he's done. All right, we're going to move up on this guy. Hmm, ow. Look closer. Only problem with the M60, it goes all over the place. What you got, bub? Can't take any more. Ah, 
Why, wait, why didn't you guys just get a little closer to the base? Let me just... Screw it. I'm flying this one. I need those components. I, I need everything I can get out of these guys. Yeah, like I said, that was going to happen. Jeez, oh, seriously? They will despawn if I don't hurry up and you get them. Oh. All that in. All right, there we go. Oh no, 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 no. Don't tell me I lost them. Oh, crap. Well, yeah, like I said, you will end up. Yeah, there, there is some, there is some recoil. Uh, a lot of the guns have recoil. It's just one of those things you don't get away from. Even the uh, vanilla guns are going to recoil pretty good. Like this thing here, the MR20, I'll just show you right here. In comparison to, say, this gun that I currently got, M60, this thing here is the smallest light machine gun in the game. Fire it. Yeah, it's got some recoil. This thing here is not really supposed to be used on infantry like this. It's supposed to be used, and what the mod guy says that's supposed to be used for it is it's supposed to be used for shooting at vehicles and so if you were shooting at like a drone some type of uh, drone or something coming in it would be perfect for that unfortunately it's not perfect for uh, infantry but it works it works any gun will work as long as you know what you're doing I am going to turn on. Here we go. All right. Uh, hmm. Let's grab this and. God, I wish I could use those. Well, I can use those. Okay, uh, shove that in here. Uh, yeah, 58.1 liters of ice. I've got a bunch of these MR30s. I have to build me a... But like, also, the cool thing about this game, you've never played Space Engineers, by the way. See these planets here? Like right here. See those two? Those two. We can go to those. That's the cool part about this game. I don't have to be stuck here on this planet. Like, if I build a ship that can get out of here and go across the stars, I can fly there. Okay, let's see. What have I got to do next? We are going to need... Not that. I also got a target dummy I can build. I forgot about that thing. Let's see. I will need a piston. A rotor. Do I have drills? I don't have the weapons. Oh, wait. Nope. 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 I got them right here. And then the other thing I'm going to need is this nice thing. This small conveyor. Now let me see, what do I need? I need steel plates and these, five of those. Do it for now. First off, number seven. Oh, I don't have any uh, power. Hmm. Hmm. 
Oh boy. We are fixing to need the oh boy. What are you? Who are you? Sir, if you get a grinder, you got a grinder. I am sorry, but you cannot be allowed to live. Yep. Eat auto turret, son. I tried to tell you. You had your chance. Oh, wow. Another proficient grinder. Awesome. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Going back to this, I guess that that dude must have been left over from the other guys. Ah, oh, geez. Gotta do some fighting on this game. Do some fighting. Not fair if I if I sit here and just let the system do it all for me. Oh, that's interesting. All right, eight. Advanced rotor here. A large top. Okay, so what's going to happen now is I'm going to build this and use this piston to push down into the ground. I'm going to let this dig around for a bit, and it's going to clear this out and make a perfect little circle. After that is over with, I should be able... All right, here we go. Let's get some of this done here. Okay, and I don't need this bottom part. That head needs to be taken off. Because what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to put a small rotor head on this next. And then work everything over. But unfortunately, and I hate to say this, <laughs> that's going to have to be next time. Because... Yeah, it's it's getting late. It's like twelve twenty six where I am, and I've got to take my kid to school tomorrow. So I've gone about as long as I can. Tomorrow, though, let me check here. Uh, we can probably keep going with the ice we got, but tomorrow I'm gonna have to take this. We have to leave this area and head out and get some more ice because we don't have any ice right now we're, we're, well we got ice but we're gonna run out really quickly so uh i need to yeah there let's just hit this real quick see if i can see some mountains or something from here with like some snow go to about most of the way up i'm looking here i don't see any snow cap mountains you're probably screwed at this point here, wait a minute, wait a minute. We got a... Holy crap, we've got ice way over there. There is no way in heck that... That right there looks like ice. Awesome. All right, so... That'll be easy. We're going to fall back down here. <laughs> Just going to get back down the easy way. Uh, yeah, so that means that we're going to have the ability now to get some ice real quickly. It's going to be a short little jump and relatively going to be nothing for us to do. And that might even be worth, hear me out, Putting a small base over there with a couple wind turbines and a hydrogen generator. And then we could just start producing hydrogen. Or it might be better just building the base that we got right now. And having something that can work later. But like I said, that has to wait till later. It's going to have to be next time. <laughs> Uh, when I when I do this little stream we got going on, because we're gonna have to hop out right now, and I hate to be that guy, but it is it is that time. Unfortunately, everybody, I want to thank everybody. I want to thank King, 
Robox 16. Enjoyed talking with you, man. Hope I get to see you again in the next uh, stream. Uh, also, these streams are going up on YouTube on my channel, Badger Wild Gaming. Uh, should be a link on the channel if you want to go over there and check it out. Got a bunch of really good stuff. You can check out the first two episodes. I will be dropping a third one Monday, number three. This will be number four, which will probably drop on Friday if everything goes the way it's supposed to. Thanks. Thanks for the love. Um, as I said, this is, uh, uh it, it'll be on, uh, YouTube. Plus you can also check the other stuff out and the Twitch channel. I, I have to, I'm trying to stay as active on it as I can show off some of the stuff that I'm working on, uh, behind the scenes of everything, you know, just the nifty stuff that's happening. I am glad the survival series is doing really good. Let me see here real quick before I take off. I want to see just what we're doing at the moment. Yeah, uh, Survival Series is doing great right now. And if you want to watch that, I've got the first two episodes up. I'm going to probably put those into a into their own deal. So you'll be able to go in and just start Survival Under Fire 1, and it'll go right into Survival Under Fire number 2. You can binge watch that. That's like over, let me see here, about two and a half hours of just me having fun. But anyway, enough of my rambling. I'm going to be heading off here now. <laughs> uh, thank you uh, again. Thanks to everyone that was out here. We had another viewer earlier in the stream. Uh, you're not here right now, but thanks. You've been remembered. Uh, also, again, thanks to King, Ro King Roblox, Robox 16. I'm trying to say that. <laughs> I'm trying to say it. I hope I don't say it wrong. By the way, thank you for watching this Badger Wild signing out.